the Japanese people, all uh, you know, top executives and things like that, these are not somebody who do not know how to move around. They come, the counter is about five feet away. When they come there, they pick it like this. They're just doing it. I repeatedly sit there and observe. Whenever a Japanese person comes to pick up something, I thought, this is fantastic. This is what we need. Doing things. I was at the economic forum. So everybody is busy meeting to meeting, we're all running from meeting to meeting, it's like five days of madness. But uh, you know, everywhere there are a few coffee counters and like uh, snack kind of breakfast counters which is all kept there, people can go pick it up and eat anytime because there's no time to go for lunch, dinner, anything, we're just on throughout the day. I see… Uh <laughs> I'm, I'm not making a statement on… Uh, a racist statement on anybody, but I was just observing. Most people just come like this, all suited, booted people, they come like this and they pick up what they want, they, they don't like it, they just leave it there, put it in the bin, walk away. Uh, Indian people, little, standing back and slowly going. The Japanese people, all, uh, you know, top executives and things like that, these are not somebody who do not know how to move around. They come, the counter is about five feet away. When they come there, they pick it like this, bending down. I just observed repeatedly, I thought, this is fantastic that it, they're not even receiving it from somebody, it is just kept there. But to pick up the food, there is a certain gratitude and devotion towards it. They're bending down and walking the last few steps. In a… in a… in a… in a totally corporate atmosphere, I'm saying, everybody is in uh, suits and boots and uh, everything, all right? They just… every one of them, nobody is… I mean, they're not even conscious, they're just doing it. I repeatedly sit there and observe. Whenever a Japanese person comes to pick up something, they'll bend down, go there and pick up like this. I thought, this is what we need, that we have some sense of gratitude towards the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, the food that we eat, and every other human being and every other creature on this planet in some way assisting our life. Every moment. Hello? You couldn't exist. You're not existing because of your own silly intelligence. Yes, you're existing because the whole thing is working for you all the time. More than what you eat, how you eat it is also equally important. When I say how you eat it, these are all life substances. Every one of them had a life of their own, whether it's a plant, animal, vegetable, every one of them had a life of their own. Now in some way, you're making food out of it, you must consume it with ut utmost gratitude. If you approach it with a certain sense of gratitude and reverence towards the food that you eat, when I say reverence, it may feel like too much for you, but I'm asking you, let's say we put you in a room and you had nothing to eat for five days. If God appears in front of you, what will you ask for? Food? So that's how important it is. You must understand the food on your plate is not just a substance, it is not a material, it is not a commodity, it is life. It is the life-making material for you. So you must treat it as such. Right now, when it's on the plate, when it's out there, it has no value. But the moment you consume it and it becomes your flesh and blood, now suddenly it's of immense value. Why do we live like this? It's very important when it comes on your plate itself, you must treat it as a part of yourself. With great reverence, you must consume. Just the way you consume it, if you change that, food will behave very differently within you. This is what consciousness means. If people say your consciousness has no impact on your life, only chemical structures have impact, I'm very sorry for them because that's not how life works. 
human consciousness has a deep and profound impact on everything that we touch, especially the food that we are making another life as a part of ourselves. When we are doing such an act, it's very, very important we treat it with utmost gratitude and reverence.